Hello and welcome back. It's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we are looking on how not to dot. So, you know, with such a description and a title, essentially I just tried to imagine what would actually look awful in just tons of dots. So I imagine what a polka dotted house would look like and you've got that here. And yeah, I would advise against it. Don't paint your house in polka dots. Um, I admit, I kind of have to be very careful when I say that because I did a bit of research before I put together this uh, thumbnail and it's actually not unusual. There are actually quite a few polka dotted houses that I've seen in the UK and there's a few architecture marvels out there that are also polka dotted. But um, I guess each to their own. Um, I don't think this is something that I'm going to do to our own house at any point. Um, but, you know, each to their own. That's all I'm going to say on this topic. Let's take a look at the puzzle. So we've got How Not to Dot by Arc29. And um, a huge number of dots in here. You know, lots of blacks, lots of whites. Now, I know we've done a very similar puzzle recently from... Um, from... pardon me... Uh, full deck and missing a few cards. But I think because... You know, it, it's got negative constraints. We're going to take a look at the rules in a second. So I'm imagining it's going to be just a tiny bit harder. But I still suspect that it's going to be a highly approachable puzzle. Just the sheer number of dots in here is just going to help us, I think. Well, rule sets. So normal Sudoku rules. So that means every row, every column, and every 3x3 three three box. That's a 3x3 three three box without that cell contains the digits 1 to 9. Notice I just keep selecting randomly new boxes every now and again. Black croquis dots indicate numbers with a 1 to 2 ratio. So for example, if this is a 2, this would have to be 1 or 4 to be in a 2 to 1 ratio. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. That's all the possible values. The other possibility is a white croquis dot, such as this one here connecting this 2. And these would need to be consecutive. So if that's a 2, that could be a 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Or 2 plus 1 is 3. And the 1, 3 would be the two other possible values on this white croquis dot. Now, I did mention earlier the negative constraint. Arc specifically says all dots have been given. So I couldn't, for example, do this. Because they would have to be consecutive. And therefore, that would mean that they need a white croquis dot between them. I also couldn't do this because they are in a 1 to 2 ratio and there are no black croquis dots between them. So just keep an eye out for the negative constraint. You're going to probably need it to solve this puzzle. Now, if your own house is not covered in polka dots, you know how to dot and you want to solve this how not to dot puzzle. Link will be in the description down below. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. Right. So, I mean, by now, you, you guys know me. This is a series of four cells connected with black dots. So, that's one eight. These are two four. Got the same kind of run in here. That's one eight. That's two four. 1A can only ever be connected to a 2 4. 2 4s. You can't have another 2 4 in here. That's 1 8. Not sure what this is. And that's uh, a lot of different things that have been just covered. Kind of wondering if there is striping going on. I'll, I'll take a look at that in a moment. So a bit of coloring. Let's go with red, um, yellow, blue, purple. Red can only be connected to yellow. So that's yellow. That's blue. That's purple. Purple can only be connected to blue. Yellow can only be connected to red. And I guess all the other colors are already placed. This 2, 4, we know it's none of these cells, so we don't actually know what this is. If that's a 2, it can't be a 1, it can be a 3. 
and it can be a five. I'm just going to pencil mark that in for now. Oh, we've got, I mean, we've got an obvious kind of order at the moment. And I'm almost tempted that I color these the, the other way around, but I'm going to go with it. If this was a one, that's a two, what's that white cropkey dot going to be? So this has to be the eight. Purple has to be eight. Therefore, red has to be one. Yellow has to be two. This has to be four. Unfortunately, preserving the three, five option in here. You know, if that was a two, that would have definitely been a three. This eight now can be one of seven or nine. And we have, you know, tons of digits. Am I going to change the colors? Yes. Otherwise, it's just, I'll be honest, it's going to confuse me. Um, that's not at all what I meant to do. Let's try that again. <laughs> There we go. Right. Uh, and actually that's, excuse me, red, not orange. Right, let's keep thinking about this. So we know that there is a one down here. That could be one, two. I mean, so here is one possibility, one, two, four. And in fact, it has to be. I was for a second thinking if this is a three, six group, and the answer is no, because, you know, although it's on the side, it's three, it's a run of three crop key dots, black crop key dots. So this is from one, two, four, and eight. This clearly is not four or eight. If I try and put an eight in here, that would require a four breaking the puzzle. Now, so this is one and two for sure. Now, if I put the one in here, I've broken it because both of these would have to be two. So my kind of thinking earlier of this is one, two, and four is correct. This could be four, eight, or three, six. Can't conclude anything from that. That's seven or nine. Three or five. This is three or five again. I guess the eight can be here. Ones, twos, and fours all done. Okay. Not really. Just Sudoku here and here, just to pencil mark some of these. This is another clearly triplet. This is another triplet. In fact, we know what it is because we've got an eight in here. So that's got to be a four with a one, two, sorry, two, eight. Excuse me. This has got to be a two with a one, four. This four tells us the order. That's four. That's one. We've got the same thing going on here now. So I was thinking about striping. We do have it. This has got to be a two. This is one or four. Now, what I mean when I talk about striping, is striping the right word? I think it is. Essentially, what I'm describing here is whenever you see a run of digits that looks like this, then, and I'm... I'm so tempted to color it, but you know I've already used a ton of colors. Let's just go with this is green, and these are the green cells. Then you know this is the green color. Now, this run would be orange, and clearly orange is not down here, and it's not green, so that would be orange, that would be orange, and essentially, you end up with this runs that are identical, that are essentially almost like the same color throughout. So that's basically what we've got happening in here. So I'm going to just undo all of these colors for now. You know, we don't really need it. But this is quite interesting. Here is another freebie. That's the three. And the reason I kind of spotted that is we've got a run of three consecutive digits, and then another pair of consecutive digits. You know, it may end up being like a run of five. We don't know that for sure. But notice the three can't land on any single one of these white crop kiddos because the two and the four are not available. 
And you can essentially take a look at the shape of all of these. You can see that essentially whatever this cell is, it's here, it's there. We know that this is 8 is going to be essentially in there with a 7, 9. I think the trick is to figure out whether we have kind of 8, 7, 9. I think it must be, doesn't it? Because the other possibility, and the way I'm sort of thinking about this is, if we don't have an 8 with a 7, 9, so 8 is definitely in this row. One option would have been is that there is an 8 in the middle with a 7, 9 around it. The other option is essentially 8, 7, and 6. Then you end up with 5, 9 on this white crop key dealt, and that's clearly not going to work. So I'm fairly sure there is an 8 in the middle. Now, the reason I'm, you know, I've essentially ruled out an 8 from here is just, let's do a bit of Sudoku. 8 is not there. It's got to be in here. Eliminating 8 from there. 8 has to be in the middle. So that's 8. That's 7, 9. That's 8. That's 7, 9. Excuse me, that, that's a full-sized 8. That's 7, 9. This is now 5 and 6. We actually know the order because there is no black croquis dot joining the 3. So that's actually a 5 and a 6. That's a 5 and a 6. Again, no white croquis dot joining the 6 and the 7. That's got to be a 9. That's got to be a 7. Don't have anything necessarily helping us here. The 1s and 4s are fairly independent of the 3 and 6. 7, 9 in here. 5 and 6, we know the order. The 4, if it's adjacent to the 5, it would need a white crop key dot, and it doesn't have it. That's a 5. That can't be the 7. Again, needs a white dot to be connected to the 6. That's the 7. That's the 9. This is um, presumably 6 or 8. Can't be an 8. Got a 4 next to it. No black crop key dot joining the 2. That's a 6. And this is now 5 or 7, which seemingly we don't have any issues with at the moment. What else? 5, 6. This is 5, 7 again. That's a 3, therefore, because we've got a 5, 7 pair looking at it. This is 8, 9 to finish things off. We've got an 8 in here. That's the 8. That's the 9. So far looking all good. This can't be the 7. We've got, yeah, crop key dots can actually cross boxes. So if that's a 7, there is no white dot joining them. That would break the puzzle. That's a 5. That's a 7. Therefore, that's a 9. That's a 7. And uh, we can just keep going on from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. We need a 6. You can see that 6 is eliminated from every cell except here. This is now 5 or 7. And therefore, this is 5, 7, or 9, except we've got a 9 in here. That's got to be the 9. That's another 5, 7. And negative constraints are not going to help us determine what, which one is which. It does, however, tell us we know this cell. That's got to be an 8. 3 or 5, nothing disambiguates those. That's Oh, actually, yes, there is. There's a 5 staring right at it. That's the 3. Excuse me, that's the 3. We know what this is. That's a 7. The white crop key dot and the 8 not available. That's a 6. We have 5. Can't be next to the 4. That's a 5. That's a 9 to finish. Box 7. We have 1 and 2 and a 6. So this is not a 3-6 pair. This is a 4-8 pair. The 8 gives us the order. 8, 4, 3 or 5. We've got 3 in the column. That's a 5, that's a 6. Just continuing this run of white crop key dots. That could be 5 or 7. We've got a 5 in the column. That's a 7. That's an 8, because we've got 6 behind it. 8, that would be a 4. And that would be a 9. Not a 4 in here. 
you probably have enough information with these four twos and one four pair to actually resolve, but let me just do easier things for now. No ones in here, no one in there as a one, just Sudoku. We need a three, can't be in either of these cells, that's a three. And we now have five, six. This six tells us the order. That's a five, that's a six. That's gotta be a seven, seven. That's a five, that's a seven. We know what this cell is, that's a nine. This is three or five, not five, because that's in the column and box. That's a three, that's gotta be a two. You know, so, well, black croppy dot from the one that was known for a while. This could be one or four. We know what this cell is. What is it? One. And that's an eight. Let's finish this row now. We've got two, three, and five. That's a three because we've got two, five in a column. Two is the only thing that can be adjacent to the three. That's the five. That's a six. We've got you know, three with a black crop key dot can only be a six. And that's another one, four. So like I said, you know, may look like a deadly pattern, but I think the answer is we've probably got all the information that we need to actually resolve this. And the fact that we have a two in here doesn't really change anything. We have a one in here. This is seven because we've got a five in the column. And this is... What is it? Nine. Right, let's think about these one fours. I mean, the, the obvious thing is that this four can't be next to the five. This four can't be next to the three. I'm actually just genuinely wondering, aside from just the negative constraint, is this actually solvable? I think the fact that we have twos with black crop key dots preserving these options, that we essentially have an X-wing, where both are valid aside from the negative constraints, I think the answer is no. So that's the one, that's the four, one. And if I've not made any mistakes, four and the solution to today's puzzle. So like I suspected, this was fairly approachable given just the sheer number of dots that we have on the grid. Um, and the negative constraint was just as I suspected, very helpful in terms of solving. The The thing is, I just keep pausing every now and again because I, for this life of me, I just can't remember what is this called when you have this type of pattern. Is it ribboning? Striping? Uh, I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments, but you know, whenever you come across them, it's just really enjoyable to apply this logic to basically just resolve things like the 356 very quickly you know, the 789 fairly quickly, so really enjoyed that part of it. And then, yeah, this run of four digits in black crop key dots. Lovely puzzle arc. Really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have as well. I hope you enjoyed the puzzle and the video, and I'll see you back in the next one. Bye for now.